What's going on? We back with the box clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We working. Shout out to the entire LDBC. And um, you know, Luis Ortiz went off this morning, man. Um, but before we get into the video, make sure you guys check us out. Boxing one on one early morning grind every morning, Monday through Friday, 8 30 Eastern Standard Time, right here on the Boxing Clinic and More on YouTube. And make sure uh, if you miss it on YouTube and you don't want to go back and have a YouTube app open, you can check us out in the podcast. The podcast link's in the description. Download the CastBox app. It's totally free 99. And um, you can listen to us there and be able to close your you know, your app out and still listen to us and don't have to be handcuffed by having the uh, YouTube screen open. But we in here, man. And um, make sure y'all go subscribe to the brother, Colossal Sports TV, and my brother, the Cali Enigma Sports Network. That's with T-H-A. Okay. And uh, Luis Ortiz. Fires back at Dillian White. Yesterday we did a video about Dillian White saying that um, Luis Ortiz ducked him a couple times, said he outpriced himself, um, said he wasn't going to be able to make the fight July 28th, and, um, you know, said he outpriced himself, and that's why he fought Joseph Parker. Um, and I'll link an article from Boxing Scene kind of covering a little bit of both. But um, And now Ortiz is fired back. But uh, what um, Dillian White said is I offered – fight Ortiz years ago in this article I'm gonna link in the description but he didn't want to know uh White said in the article he didn't even want to know this summer and asked for silly money coming off a knockout to water and he made it clear that he wouldn't be ready July 28th well which was the date we had available funny funnily I don't even know that's the word funnily enough it didn't stop him from fighting someone else that day Ortiz ended up facing the tall guy. He, he looked impressive, too, over the Mikey and Earl Spence undercard. I will not attempt to butcher his name, okay? <laughs> All right, the article goes in and says, The Cuban is not hoping to return on the Wilder Fury undercard and will love uh, nothing more than White to be his opponent. He's talking about uh, this Luis Ortiz. This is the exact quote from Luis Ortiz. Didn't anybody uh, uh, teach you to respect your elder son? You must be smoking some good-ish to think uh, you got anything for us, and yes, I said us, that goes for me, Wilder, or even Jarrell Miller for a young guy, you sure have a big mouth. Down here, us boys in the uh, in the South don't do a lot of talking. That's for cowards, so you and Joshua, you know, that's for cowards, you and Joshua. If you want uh, some, come get some, because down here in the, in the good old USA, we bring it. We don't sing or tease told boxing team. So listen here, young man. There's a spot on the Wilder Fury uh, card, so why don't you strap your nuts on and come face me so I can show you a good-ass whooping. If not, please take my name out your mouth. He said, man, what's Shay Sharp be saying on Undisputed Shannon Sharp? Man, keep your name out my mouth. <laughs> skip, skip. But um, so Ortiz rebuttal, you know, quick, fast, in a hurry. And um, like I say, man, people be saying Wilder Duck and Dillian White, this guy Duck and Dillian White. And we'll do a video about Miller a little bit later. Um, you know, it is what it is, man. Okay? It is what it is. Um, you know, I know Dillian White all talk. They doing all this this posturing, perpetrating. They doing this to remain relevant, okay? They doing this to try to take the shine away from Wilder Fury. They trying to keep their name in rotation to keep the zone floating, to keep sky floating, to keep... Scott Sports flow and keep Joshua and Dillian White floating and keep putting up a facade. Ultimately, it's about putting up a facade for, you know, fans to still believe a Wilder Fury fight can happen. I mean, a Wilder and um, Joshua fight can happen. But everybody knows they know anything about boxing if they want a minute. Pro UK, Con UK, or or neutral knows that Dillian White is probably going to be ordered to fight Anthony Joshua in April. Okay. Frank Warren, just above this article on Boxing Scene, says no matter if Fury or Wilder, whoever wins, we already know that Dillian White is going to fight Anthony Joshua regardless. And this is about trying to dupe the fans in the U.K. again. Fans in the U.K. want to see the Wilder fight. They would love to see the Fury fight of Joshua, you know, if, you know, whoever wins. They would love to see that. But this is about duping them and, and stealing their money once again. And I'm just telling them they better be ready for a Dillian White-Anthony Joshua rematch. And that's what it is, man. I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. These dudes is not going to fight Wilder. Or, or, or Fury or Luis Ortiz, okay? Anthony Joshua and Dillian White could have fought Luis Ortiz. He was on Matchroom Boxing before Matchroom USA, and they tricked him around. He got a, They released him. He, he, was, he, grant, he was granted a release. 
And if you look at Dillian White fight, you know Dillian White ain't got no chance. My Vince McMahon voice. No chance versus Luis Ortiz, okay? He did all that talking about how Luis Ortiz is an old grandpa man. Him and Miller said the same thing. Old grandpa man, but ain't neither one of them want to fight him. You know? No, neither one of them dudes want to fight him. And that's a fact, okay? You know, Dillian White, he fought Joseph Park. I think it was a good win. He almost got knocked out at the end, but he did a good job. But in my opinion, I already know. Dillian White do all this talking, crying about Deontay Wilder. Um, he was ordered to fight Luis Ortiz for WBC Eliminator. He didn't want to fight it because he didn't want to become a secondary challenger. Okay, so he didn't want to fight Luis Ortiz. Dominic Brazil said, I'll fight you. i put my mandatory status on the line. I'll fight you. Dillian White is the WBC Silver Champion. What that means is he must fight a title Eliminator before he becomes the mandatory, no matter if he's number one or number 10 in the WBC rankings. Okay, he knows that. He wants Wilder to give him a voluntary shot, which ain't going to happen. He's not doing Eddie Hearns. Wilder's not doing Eddie Hearns. No favor. He said, you fight Luis Ortiz, I'll give you a shot, an immediate shot. And Dillian White act like he didn't hear that. He don't want to fight Luis Ortiz. Dillian White ain't shit, okay? Dillian White went life and death with Derek Chisora, okay? Really lost in some people's opinion, you know? And everybody wants to say, well, Ortiz is old and this and that. Well, I ain't never seen nobody run from no old, old man, Okay? I ain't never seen nobody avoid an old man. Dillian White is full of horse shit, okay? He full of shit. And uh, like Ortiz told him, strap your nuts on a fight on the, on the undercard. He don't want to. He don't want to fight Derek Chisora, okay? I don't know who he want to fight, but he don't want to fight nobody, okay? He can just sit and wait for AJ in April. That's it. But he want to get that bag. He want to get that money for the New Year's kick in, right? So he want to go fight Chisora. You know he don't want to fight on the Wilder undercard, Okay? You know, he don't want no physical confrontation with Deontay Wilder, okay? He don't want to be nowhere near Wilder. You know what? Nowhere near him. You know, he could have showed up to the, uh, the Good Morning Britain. You know, he could have showed up, you know, to the Wilder Fury press conference. He don't want no smoke. They don't want no confrontation. Him or AJ. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no physical confrontation. They want to talk tough behind cameras. You know, talking about, oh, yeah. Dillian White said, yeah. You see, Wilder told me he's going to make me wait. Yeah, he's going to wait. Who are you? Why should I grant you a voluntary for what? Why should I do Eddie Hearn a favor when they don't want to give me AJ? You know, I'll tell you what. You fight Luis Ortiz, we get it popping. He don't want to fight Luis Ortiz. He don't even want to fight Dominic Brazil, for God's sakes, bro. So, I mean, what, I mean, what are we talking about here? Ortiz is right. He's a coward. He's a punk, just as AJ is. You know, birds of a feather flock together. He don't want to come to USA and get that work. And most of all, he don't want to be staring... You know, uh, Ortiz in his face, that's cool. But he don't even want to be nowhere near Fury and Wilder after he talked all that junk. They've been to jump him on the stage. He might not make it to the ring versus Luis Ortiz. You know, all that FaceTime. You know, these dudes talk all this. I'm trying to tell you. It'll be like the Tony Bell you. Tony Bell you did all that riff raffing, all that walk it like he talk it, you know. Talk it like he walk it. All that Migos talk. Wiggity, 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 wiggity. And then when Wilder pulled up on him, he got shook. He turned into a punk. He started prancing like like Rudolph and Prancer and Dancer and, and the rest of them. And Vixen, he started, oh, man, uh, uh, Wilder's a big guy, man. I mean, I mean, I was crazy to think I could fight him. Same thing going to happen when Wilder put up on AJ and Dillian White. Okay, if I ate, if Wilder put up on AJ and Dillian White, even Tyson Fury, their whole tone going to change. Okay, they really ain't fighting them dudes. So there's no way that Dillian White going to be on the same car, on the same stage, that he took all that junk to Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder and fight Luis Ortiz. They're going to dog walk him. He mentally might go into, uh, uh, he mentally might go go insane, bro, on that stage. Because they're going to dog him on that stage. He'll never come and fight on this car. Never. They'll go fight Derek Chisora. Go do what Master Eddie wants you to do. Go fight Derek Chisora and, and, and fight AJ if you beat Chisora in April. Okay, we already know what's coming. And a lot of brothers think you got a good chance of beating AJ. So stop trying to overshadow Tyson Fury and Wilder. It won't happen. You ain't going to fight Ortiz. So, I mean, come on. It is what it is, man. It's the Boxing Clinic more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow putting it down one time for the one time. Shout out to the whole LDBC lines, the Embossed community. Make sure you check out the Smoke City Mobcast. The Smoke City Mobcast on YouTube every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Shout out to my brother Junior the Truth. Junior is the truth, okay? And um, check out the LDBC uh, app. And LDBC, LDBCSports.com. And shout out to Brother Fight Fan, Black Fight Fan, Shop Fight Fan, uh, ShopFightFan.com, where you're going to get some of them good shirts and LDBC shirts at. 
And also, don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also the podcast I talked about in the beginning of the video. Links in the description. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time, we're going to continue to grind and get our shine on. And much blessings to all the brothers across the way. Make sure you go subscribe to my brother, CB Sports TV. We gone.